Hiya Aquarius, it's Dana, Deep Thoughts with Dana. Yes, I am here to do a video for you. If you're new to this channel, um, I normally don't do Aquarius videos or Capricorn videos because my daughter is a Western Aquarius and a Vedic Capricorn, and oftentimes I pick up on her energy, and the reading is literally, literally her energy, so I, um, I don't feel like it's fair or honest to post a general reading for you guys for Aquarius when I know full well beyond a shadow of a doubt it's her reading okay um, I am very uh, my daughter's one of my soulmates right um, not just because she's my daughter but I believe that we all run in a tribe okay long story we'll explain it some other time but nevertheless okay but I did her cards last night. I gave my daughter a tarot card reading last night. So I'm pretty sure that all of that is all cleared out. And actually, I probably should do that from now on. I should probably call Nicole in and give her a reading and then post Aquarius's reading, right? Clear that energy out, right? But I'm only one person and I only have so much time. So if you're new to this channel, um, I don't really post a lot of Aquarius or Capricorn, so this is a treat, right? This is a treat. Um, I don't get many views on these videos because I don't post and I don't have a following of Aquarius and Capricorn because I don't post very many um, videos for Aquarius and Capricorn. So this is a treat. This is a special. I had um, a, 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 a subscriber to that follows one of my other zodiac signs ask me to do Aquarius. So I'm going to do Aquarius and I'm going to do Capricorn after this as well, okay? So this is special from me to you because um, I feel bad that I can't read for you guys. I mean, personal one-on-one, -on -one, I mean, I can channel you all over the place, but the general collective, like I said, oftentimes ends up being my daughters. But I did her cards last night, so this should be a totally clean reading, okay? All right, we're going to do this from start to finish. Um, I don't know how it's going to work out. I don't know what's going on. I have the little video thing up there so you can see your cards over here. And I have already super shuffled all of these cards, but I'm going to shuffle um, the, the root cards one more time for you guys, okay? So if y'all will just uh, get, you, get you a drink, whatever that might be for you, kick back, snuggle in, and let's do, uh, let's do, look. I did that again, right? I just shuffled. Devil was on the bottom of the card, the first cut that I did, and now it's on the bottom of the deck, um, the second cut that I did. So very interesting. So let's uh, shuffle these cards and get right into it. Snuggle up, kick back, and let's uh, let's channel what Aquarius is doing. Okay. So give me just a second. Second, let me get in my zone. Let me let me channel, and then we'll lay out the cards and we'll talk about them. Okay. All right. Ready? Oh, and of course, this is a general reading, right? This, I mean, because everybody's astrological chart is different. I mean, you can have a best friend whose birthday's on the same day as yours and have a completely different chart, right? Which means that everybody's journey is completely different. So if you see anything in this reading that you need confirmation, clarity, wisdom, guidance, understanding about, by all means, reach out and get your cards read. You can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. There's a link in the box below. There's a bunch of links in the box below. Hit me up on Instagram as well. I don't do anything tarot-y on Instagram. It's just me being a normal person liking pictures and posting stuff, okay? So don't expect tarot-y things on Instagram. It's just my private account that you can follow me on if you want to. So that being said, reach out to somebody to get your cards read if you need help with this. Okay. All right, here we go. So spirit source, universal energy. What do you know about Aquarius as a collective? And what does Aquarius need to know? Spirit, based on the energies that are lining up in the planets at this very moment today, what is the general path of Aquarius at the moment. Spirit, what does Aquarius need to know? What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? Spirit, messages that you can bring for Aquarius to help them navigate their path in the next energetic shift that's happening. The next energetic shift, Spirit, I'm not going to be so arrogant as to ask you to box yourself into my time frame of March 
the next energetic shift that's happening for Aquarius spirit. What do they need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And what is your guidance so they can navigate their way? Spirit, as always, please use me as a clean and clear vessel by which to not only interpret your messages, but to explain them to the collective of Aquarius so they can apply it to their lives. Spirit, I'm going to shuffle these cards three more times. I'm going to cut three times, and I will pull 15 cards off the top. Please arrange yourself in the way you need to be seen. All right, let's see what we get. Woo! One. Ooh, that was that was tricky. Two, three. Princess of Wands on the bottom of the deck in reverse. Delays, frustrations. All right, the Five of Swords. First card out the box. This Five of Swords is about conflict, betrayal, deceit, deception, mind games, win at all costs. To the Four of Wands, this is harmony, stability, structure in your home or in a relationship. The King of Cups, feelings, lots and lots of feels flying around. Five of Wands in reverse. This is either the avoidance of responsibility or an increased focus on your goals. To the Five of Cups in reverse. This Five of Cups in reverse is talking to us about moving on from feelings of loss, regret, despair, and disappointment. Monte Coffee, by the way. Shout out. Okay. The Hermit in reverse. Isolation, loneliness, withdrawal. Eight of Swords in your mind thinking about what change needs to take place in your life. Prince of Cups in reverse in the center of this reading talking about not sharing feelings. Um, unrealistic to share feelings. It's also about jealousy and pride as well. The Hangman. Pausing, processing, surrendering, coming out on the other side with a new perspective. And there's the Four of Cups, confirming, right? Contemplation and reevaluation about something. The King of Pentacles in reverse. This is either somebody who used to hold title in your life, but doesn't anymore, or it's a sense of failure. Justice, fairness, honesty, truth, universal cause and effect. Prince of Wands in reverse, frustration and delays. Five of Pentacles, left out in the cold or financial worries. To the Two of Cups, when it comes to a significant partnership in your life. Let's pull some more. Three of Pentacles, teamwork and collaboration. The Two of Wands, the future. Tower, upheaval and chaos, which puts you in, in, in feelings of self-protection with four pentacles prince of swords taking some action six of pentacles in reverse to the lovers in reverse and the princess of cups in reverse this is withdrawing participation in some kind of a relationship to the three of swords and the sun emperor in reverse princess of pentacles ten of swords all right that's where we're stopping okay now Let's use my handy dandy little mini weeny terrifying clear, terrifying cards. <laughs> They're terrifying. Rider Waite is so scary. No, my clarifying cards, right? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> my terrifying cards. <laughs> I guess it depends on what your story is, if it's terrifying or not, right? All right. So we got a lot of we got a lot of negativity going on here, Aquarius. What is up with this and what are you in your head about? So, 5 of Swords. What 5 of Swords to Justice. So the conflict, betrayal, um, justice major arcana comes in and says you're going to get yours don't you worry Aquarius you're going to get yours um, you're going to get your justice tell me more tell me one more about justice please I don't like to leave a major arcana face up like that give me one more about justice please the page of cups in reverse this is the elimination of some kind of creation this is also a no thank you card the page of cups in the upright is a message of creation the page of cups in reverse is a creative block or a no thank you okay 
So there's justice. All right, let's just, uh, I will obsess over those first couple cards. I need to keep moving and we'll come back and fix those, clarify those more if need be. To the four of wands. Four of Wands. When it comes to a stable relationship, the King of Cups, your feelings, what is this about? The King of Wands in reverse. All right, so here we go. So somebody is being a dickhead. Somebody's being shady, self-centered, egocentric, arrogant in regards to your feelings and your stability in this relationship. Yep, look at this. Look at this. So the five of wands in reverse. This is moving on from feelings of loss, regret, despair, disappointment to the five of cups in reverse. I'm sorry, five of cups in reverse is about moving on from loss, regret, despair, disappointment. The five of wands in reverse is about an increased focus on goals. To the nine of pentacles in reverse, talking about either financial setbacks or an overinvestment of your time and effort to the Ten of Swords in reverse. This is recovering from an inevitable ending to the King of Pentacles, talking about success, long-term vision, long-term ambitions. Tell me about... Oh, that's just so many. Let's see. Long-term success, long-term ambitions... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So look, you're contemplating and reevaluating with the Four of Cups. What makes you happy? What are your wishes fulfilled? What is your comfort, happiness, satisfaction? To the Six of Cups, um, when it comes to possibly reuniting or reconciling your differences with someone from your past, this could be talking about home too, right? This is a general reading. I have absolutely zero direction, right? I'm just kind of flying blind here. If this was your reading, we would know exactly what we're talking about. To the Six of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles talking about reflecting and assessing on a situation. Spirit, give me, give me some more about the Four of Wands to the King of Cups. Who is this King of Wands in reverse and what's the problem here? What's the problem? Queen of Cups in reverse, emotional insecurity, Three of Cups in reverse. This is stifled creativity or a third party situation that affects the foundation of your security. Okay. The Magician in reverse, talking about manipulation. Okay. Okay. So the Hermit, <coughs> withdrawal, isolation, disconnection. While you are in, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> while you are in the Eight of Swords energy, right? Thinking about what it is that you need to do, what kind of action you need to take to change the situation. And lo and behold, the Eight of Cups in reverse, walking away to the Prince of Cups in reverse, unrealistic, not sharing any more of your feelings, Two of Wands in reverse, fear of the unknown, right? The Hangman, pausing, surrendering to the Four of Cups, contemplating and reevaluating. What's going on here? What's going on here? What's going on here? What's going on right here? What is what is what is Aquarius? Yeah, the Ten of Wands in reverse, right? This is about um, taking on too much or avoiding responsibility. King of Cups in reverse, emotional volatility, and the Seven of Swords, mental challenges. The King of Pentacles in reverse. This is the same King of Pentacles up here right? Um, this King of Pentacles is the subject matter that we're talking about right here. In reverse, you're cutting him loose. And justice, this, this is the spirit saying, good job, right decision. That's exactly what needs to happen. There's not a lot of major arcana here. Interesting. Let's see. Tell me about justice to the King of Pentacles in reverse, please. What do you want to say about this? Yep. Lack of progress with Four of Swords in reverse and the Five of Swords in reverse talking about a lot of resentment. Prince of Wands in reverse, not taking any kind of inspired action, just stopping inspired action to the Five of Pentacles, leaving it out in the cold to the Two of Cups, leaving out a, a relationship in the cold. 
let's see, Temperance in Reverse talks about healing. Tell me more about this. What's this Two of Cups right here? What's this Two of Cups about right here? What is this Two of Cups about? The Emperor. What else? To the moon in reverse. There's the culprit right there, right? Secrets. To the six of wands in reverse. A fall from grace. Okay. Three of We're going to go back and read this from the top, of course. Three of pentacles, teamwork and collaboration. To the two of wands into the future. Tower moment happened, right? Tower moment happened. And now you're self-protective. Going to take some action to disconnect, disconnect, disconnect. Broken heart happiness the emperor in reverse tell me about this sun card right here why is happiness just popping out right here like this resistance right delays stalling resistance uh to your own happiness okay i see tell me more about the sun please tell me more about the sun please whoa too much too much too much too much. Let's see what all these are. Okay, we'll take them. To the Emperor in reverse, right? Shaking him loose, manifesting, and the Ten of Swords and ending. Manifesting an absolute ending to the situation. Tell me more about this. Tell me more about this for the aqua. What is this about? What is this about for Aquarius? What is this about for Aquarius? Anything else you want to say right here? Anything else you want to say, Spirit? Anything else? No, no, maybe. Yep. Oh, look. Three of Swords. The broken heart, right? When it comes to the Two of Cups, Five of Wands in reverse. This is avoiding the responsibility. Okay. All right, let's read this. Let's read this. If somebody wants to put a timestamp, it's like 1720. Um, we're going to read it from the top. All right, ready? Let's go. So the Five of Swords, you open this reading with betrayal. Okay, there's some kind of betrayal happening right here. Betrayal, betrayal, betrayal to justice but don't you worry spirit has your back spirit is going to lead you in the direction that you need to go to get justice for yourself in this situation page of cups in reverse the blockage of creation right that is the justice that is what's going to bring you justice in the end is blocking creation any more creation in this relationship so what happened? Well, you were just fine with the Four of Wands. You were in a harmonious relationship, security, stability, the King of Cups, lots of feels flying around all over the place, right? But then somebody decided to do some fuckery with the King of Wands in reverse. Um, this is somebody that is selfish, right? Selfish, egocentric, um, fuckery, right? To the Queen of Cups in reverse, which caused you, well, they they shared their love with someone else, their love with someone else, right? And it caused you a great deal of emotional insecurity. Three of Cups in reverse could be a third party situation. It absolutely could be. It could be that they have cheated on you. But whatever this situation is and third party doesn't have to be just cheating right third party could be um mama's too involved or daddy's calling the shots or he's got a nosy sister or he sided with the neighbor's opinion about the fight that you guys had on the deck about how to barbecue your meat, okay? Something along those lines. There was some kind of interference that turned your Queen of Cups in the upright into the Queen of Cups in reverse, right? This is emotional insecurity and it's removing love. I also feel like they shared some intimate feelings with someone else else which caused stifled creativity right because we have the page of cups creative block we have stifled creativity third party or not 
to the Ten of Pentacles. Um, this has caused you to stop planning your future with this person. The Magician in Reverse. This is the Master Manipulator, right? The Master Manipulator, which goes right back to this King of Wands in Reverse right there, right? The Fuckery. Five of Wands in Reverse talks about you, Aquarius, having an increased focus on your goals to the Five of Cups in Reverse to walk away, to walk away and leave the loss, the regret, the despair, the disappointment in the past. Nine of Pentacles comes in and talks about an overinvestment of your time and effort to the Ten of Swords. This is an inevitable ending. To the King of Pentacles. See, this King of Pentacles is representing um, who this person was at one point to you. The King of Pentacles is somebody that is, um, it's a card of Taurus, but it is somebody who is um, husband material, all about the Four of Wands, right? All about security and structure, harmony in the life, success. This is husband material, right? Four of Cups says now you're contemplating and reevaluating to the Nine of Cups um, if this is your wishes fulfilled anymore. Nine of Cups, wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, and satisfaction. Um, does this King of Pentacles cut it anymore? Because this King of Pentacles, who was your hero, right? He was your hero. You look at him now as the King of Wands in reverse, a, a dick right? Male, female, doesn't matter. I'll call you a dick if you're a girl. I will, straight up. So now you're contemplating and reevaluating your satisfaction in this situation. Your satisfaction in this situation has a great deal to do with home and family with the Six of Cups right here and the Ten of Pentacles, right? This person has has screwed up the foundation that the relationship was built on. Okay, <clears throat> and and family could be at stake. Children, home, might need to move, right? Seven of Pentacles. This is reflecting and assessing on the situation, making your plan. While you are reflecting and assessing, you are in the hermit in reverse. You are withdrawn, isolated, and disconnected. Eight of Swords, in your mind, thinking, 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 what do I need to do to change my situation? What do I need to do? What do I need to do? Eight of Cups in reverse says your decision is to walk away from this whole thing. Prince of Cups in reverse in the center of your reading, this whole reading revolves around you removing your feelings from this person who at one point was your hero, but is now the cause of the demise. Okay. Removing, it's unrealistic to share feelings. The Prince of Cups upright is being in touch with your intuition and in touch with your feelings and prepared to share that with someone else. But no, not anymore because of the two of wands in reverse, right? This is fear of the unknown. It's like, pss, I, ain't, I am not going not an iota further with you because you have destroyed the foundation of this relationship and I am not planning my future with you anymore. The hangman, pausing, surrendering, accepting, coming out on the other side with a new perspective, double contemplation and reevaluation of the situation. Ten of Wands in reverse. This is avoiding responsibility. It's also about being overwhelmed, but avoiding the responsibility is talking to us about your desire to cut loose from this relationship. Not my circus, not my monkeys. I don't want to reunite and reconcile. I don't want um, any of the responsibility of anything that has happened here. This is not my responsibility. I did not do this right? King of Cups in reverse. Emotionally volatile, right? We had the King of Cups upright up here before all of this bullshit went down. Now the King of Cups is in reverse. And this is Aquarius taking their emotions back. This is Aquarius being emotionally volatile because of um, all the fuckery that's gone on. <coughs> Seven of Swords in reverse, talks about having huge mental challenges in regards to deception and betrayal. Hold on. <coughs> <coughs> 
spring is in the air and um it's totally fucking with me hold on all right mental challenges because of the betrayal king of pentacles in reverse right where this person used to hold title in your life you used to they used to be your hero they are not anymore justice follows it justice fairness truth cause and effect universal law four of swords in reverse this is mentally restless um all caught up in your head right the eight of swords all caught up in your head about this to the five of swords in re in reverse um lots of resentment going on here the four of swords in reverse also talks about a lack of progress right um five of swords being a lot of resentment and that's what's happening here is that you are deciding that there's no way that you guys can ever patch this up because there's way too much water under the bridge there's way too much resentment and you're not interested justice this is your truth this is your decision the prince of wands in reverse not taking any inspired action to fix anything or talk about anything temperance in reverse temperance in reverse talks to us about um getting some healing right trying to get some healing trying to see the forest through the trees and getting some healing the five of pentacles leaving leaving a two of cups relationship out in the cold leaving a unified partnership out in the cold the emperor to the moon in reverse the emperor lied and now there is a fall from grace in a state of disrepute the emperor and the king of pentacles they're kind of like cousins right they they they, they got to be blood related because they're very much the same energy um the emperor is um a little bit more elevated than the king of pentacles right but the king of pentacles and the emperor they share the same value system they share the same characteristics right um the emperor is an initiator a call to action father figure husband figure he's just a really stand-up kind of guy right and this the this person used to be your king of pentacles a stand-up integritous kind of guy who was your hero right and now he's being reflected as um the emperor right because we've already used the king of pentacles so this this hero of yours your your husband your significant other um your wife for that matter um somebody who just ran the show kept everything together the moon in reverse this is secrets right um lies and betrayal to the six of wands in reverse this is a fall from grace and a state of disrepute okay period new paragraph three of pentacles the teamwork and collaboration the two of wands the building for your future the tower explosion everything just blows up in your face with this tower moment this tower moment is the three of cups over here whatever that is if it's a third party situation somebody interfering your um your mates um um getting emotional advice from somebody else whatever caused the stifle creativity that's the tower moment blows up in your face four of pentacles now there's a great need for self-protection lockdown self-protection the prince of swords taking some serious action um possibly to communicate the fact that you're leaving all of this out in the cold and you're you're out you're gone um the prince of swords can indicate some actual action being taken you taking some action to the six of pentacles and the lovers in reverse right not giving and receiving not sharing not building a household together anymore lovers in reverse a severe misalignment of values in a breakup of a significant relationship princess of cups in reverse again same as that page of cups right there right this is about blocking creation stopping er, no creation no feelings being given zero fox being given in this situation that's the princess of cups in reverse three of swords heartbreak pain sorrow grief um in the mental right in the mental the sun your happiness 
your happiness. That's what's at stake right here in all of this. Your happiness. And this card tells me also that you see things crystal clear. There's no fog over it. There's no misunderstandings happening here. It is crystal clear. The hangman, resistance, indecision, stalling, resistance to the chariot, opposition, judgment, a straight up decision of black and white decision that is going to change the trajectory of your life judgment to the four of wands and the queen of pentacles and the six of swords in reverse and the two of pentacles in reverse so your your call is that you need to go create stability and structure um someplace else right you need to go someplace else to create stability and structure to the queen of pentacles right this is um see the queen of pentacles to the king of pentacles right you guys used to be the little power couple but not anymore right your sense of personal security home excuse me home family establishment right you need to go find that someplace else to the six of swords in reverse because there's too much water under the bridge there's too much baggage and you cannot you cannot you can't stay in this situation two of pentacles in reverse because it's completely in total just chaos and disorganization look the emperor in reverse this is the same emperor that was down here remember i told you that it's the same energy as the king of pentacles he used to be daddy but he's not anymore with the emperor in reverse right prince of pentacles manifesting the ten of swords an absolute ending to this situation the ten of swords is about betrayal deception and painful endings and that's what you're doing you are putting an end to your relationship in this reading three of swords right again broken heart painful separation grief and sorrow when it comes to a unified love relationship in your life or a unified partnership this doesn't have to be a a lover okay this could be family this could be work this is a general reading right put it where it goes for you to the five of wands in reverse this is moving on moving on coming to terms and uh, moving on from the entire situation the five of wands is about um the five of wands in reverse is about um an increased focus on your goals and that's what you're doing you're having an increased focus on your goals so you can figure out where you're going to go and what you're going to do now spirit can you give us anything else oh look at that you're headed towards the star hope faith purpose renewal in your life you're going to be okay, Aquarius. You are. You're going to be okay. This is um, traumatic, tragic, um, but you're going to be okay. You are. This is the card of Aquarius, the star card, right? Hope, faith, purpose, renewal, seven of wands in reverse, given up. Look at that. And justice, right? Justice. This is three times in this reading you've had the justice card. This is cause and effect truth universal law justice aquarius is not justice to the spiritual poverty right with the five of pentacles in reverse um yeah spiritual poverty isn't that a profound um definition spiritual poverty that just encompasses so much right anything else you want to say here spirit what are we at 33 minutes the Hierophant in reverse, the shaking loose of a commitment, the reevaluation of your belief system, and, and heading on down the road. <sighs> Anything else you want to say here? I gotta tell you, I'm glad this isn't my daughter's reading. <laughs> Honestly, I really am. Bless your heart, right? Bless your heart. I don't care. Um, how old you are or if you're male or female i have maternal feelings towards aquarius i just do i don't i don't care if you're if you're if you're older than me or not i are male or female i have maternal feelings towards aquarius and um 
yeah, shaking loose of that commitment and moving on down the road. Look at that, because of the devil, right? Because of the devil. This is an attachment that is a restriction to your personal growth, and you full well know that, Aquarius. Bravo! Sorry that this happened, but you are absolutely positively handling it in the right way. You don't tolerate any kind of disrespect, Aquarius. No kind of disrespect. Somebody does you dirty like this King of Wands in reverse, this Emperor in reverse, this King of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody does you dirty like that. You spin on your heels and you walk the hell away. Don't ever let anybody treat you like that. Never ever, okay? All right. All right, Aquarius, that's your reading. Um, if you want your cards read, reach me, deepthoughtswithdana.com. And if I don't float your boat, make sure you get your cards read with someone else because it's important for you to understand your journey, um, your true, real journey, right? Um, if you get your cards read with, oh, I don't know about other people, but I can dive into the energy of this other person and I can tell you what the hell's going on with them. I can... Um, yeah, anyway, get your cards read. Namaste.